Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering here. I'm actually on camera, a rare occurrence these days, as typically too busy at this point uh, to jump into the fun, but leading out with a Ponder versus Yawn on 12 post. Very difficult matchup for a lot of decks, and not something that you really want to go into the deep end of the pool with. Elvish Reclaimer, super dangerous card. That'll actually pull together the entire kill all by itself. If you have an Elvish Reclaimer, you're just going to find Cloud Post after Cloud Post. Eventually grab Eye of Ugin, tutor up your Emrakul and cast it. So with the Elvish Reclaimer on board, they definitely have inevitability. Now a Shuko sees a Pithing Needle. Presumably naming the Shuko, and now another Elvish Reclaimer. And another Force of Will. So two Reclaimers denied. Four cards left over there for Yawn. A Brainstorm plus Fetchland. Best combo in the game assembled, but down four cards from those counter spells. Luckily, you only need three cards to make the whole thing work. And now Aether Vial. One of the challenges of playing against Cloud Post is the access to crop rotation. Of course, Elvish Reclaimer was dangerous in that regard, uh, as it could just go get Bajuka Bog, which would be a huge issue. And now Cavern of Souls for another Elvish Reclaimer. This one uncounterable. And an end step Limb Duels Vault. Ooh, spicy. Oh, no, that was not an end step Limb Duels Vault. Or maybe, maybe it was. I don't see it in the graveyard. I think we just saw Limb Duels Vault. I'm not sure why we saw the card, but it looks like end of turn. Limdul's Vault firing off. Jan grabbing a Cloud Post. Still has that Elvish Reclaimer who can wreck the combo by tutoring up a Jukabog. For those unfamiliar, if you're watching the channel, pretty good chance you've seen Cephalid Breakfast before. I've got a bunch of videos with it. Very fun combo deck using Cephalid Illusionist, a rather fragile magic card, but it combos with Shuko and Nomad and Core to mill out your own deck completely. Which may not sound like much, but you also pack some copies of Narcomoeba and Dread Return, allowing you to Dread Return the freshly milled Thassa's Oracle for the win. Huge improvement for the deck. Cephalid Breakfast has been around for quite a while. Used kills like the Mimeoplasm. Looks like we've got multiple cloud posts online now. Once upon a time... Also a great printing for this type of deck. Incredible early on. And so many cloud posts. Damage comes in from the Dryad. And an end step. No Madden Core. Now with Limduel's Vault resolving you got to imagine that the top of the library should be pretty much lethal. Crop rotating out with the Elvish Reclaimer. He's activated the ability grabbing Eye of Ugin. And let's see, is this going to be lethal at this point? Hmm. 
This this could be a problem. A green sun zenith. Okay, so I thought Eye of Ugin for walking ballista could have been a disaster. Looks like it's going to be green sun zenith. That's going to grab prime time. Primeval Titan tutors up two lands, and it looks like they're both glimmer posts. Probably not much value in the life gain at all here. I think realistically cloud posts would have been preferable, but still has a lot of mana. And with the remaining mana, using Eye of Ugin. Oh no, actually tapping Eye of Ugin with the Dryad to cast Pithing Needle. And in response, putting in Cephalid Illusionist. But I think actually Aether Vial is named there. I think that's a problem. Yeah, he's naming Aether Vial. Yep. Nope, that is, that is a mess. Limduel's Vault now. Taking a look. Gonna find the Thassa's Oracle. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I would have to go back and listen to the audio if the Pithing Needle could have stopped this situation. But it is currently just stopping the Aether Vial. And now Thassa's Oracle being put into the battlefield, responding to the trigger. Oh, so yeah, there you go. That actually, that would have stopped that particular way of doing things. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely have to name it. I mean, it seems like you, you need to, but you absolutely have to. There's no doubt about that. And wow, just, just absolutely brutal. Didn't seem like there was much hope there, but that opening given with that Pithing Needle not naming the Nomad in core, and that is a wrap on game number one. Also able to get around the graveyard hate, the Elvish Reclaimer typically just going to go ahead and tutor up the Bajuka Bog and break up the combo. They're able to just get the Oracle into hand and win that way. All right, looks like got a mold of five. little choppy feed on my end, unfortunately. It's unusual. Usually the internet's pretty good here. Flooded Strand. And now Carpet of Flowers, a card that can be played around to a degree thanks to the strength of fetch lands, which really are the best lands in the game. I mean, revised dual lands are great and all, but fetch lands, just a step above. Of course, revised duels make fetch lands even better uh, but that's one of the strengths of the card is they just play so well with all of the other lands of course the shock lands and now we've got a dryad of the elysian grove and just down to two cards here for yon probably feels pretty good despite being on a mull None of those are cloud posts yet, so this is not an exceptional hand here for Yon. Now, an Elvish Reclaimer could quickly convert a lot of these lands back into the cloud posts to give that exponential mana ramp. Brainstorm plus fetch land, things looking up. Polluted Delta at this point I think is like 50 bucks from cons. Those non-reprinted fetches going crazy. Could be a while before we see them. It's going to be two more years until Modern Horizons 3. I mean, who knows how much the game will grow over that couple of years. 
we are expecting a bit of a boom when we open back up in early June, maybe late May. I think it's actually going to be early June, May 29th here in Massachusetts. The restrictions are off for all of the vaccinated people just going back to life pre-pandemic if you were vaccinated. So that'll be very exciting. We will continue this web series as well as in-store event at that point. Now, Carpet of Flowers enabling a green sun zenith. Be able to grab Tabernacle and a Cloud Post off of a Primeval Titan. Hasn't grabbed the Prime Time yet, but there we go. Sometimes he feels secondary. This is crazy. And Dryad of the Elysian Grove continues to chip in there. That damage may become relevant, but honestly, if Primeval Titan is attacking, he's going to do a lot more damage. Swords to Plowshares takes out the Prime Time. And now Tabernacle becomes a bit of a hindrance. Limduel's Vault. Looks like a main phase Limduel's Vault. No, it's got to be during the upkeep. There's not any reason to main phase this card, so. Oh, rude. Surgical Extraction. Going to go over the entire deck list. And looks like grabbing the Limduel's Vault. Now, there's only a couple of them in the deck, and while they were crucial in game number one, I would not describe them as a mandatory piece of the deck. There's a Cephalid Illusionist in play, another one in hand, along with a Thassa's Oracle. So at this point, uh, this is really dangerous. Any... Any other combo piece, either Stoneforge Mystic, Shuko, Nomad in Core. These are really, really dangerous times for Yon. In hand, Thassa's Oracle means that any crop rotation or surgical extraction that he might have is not going to get the job done. Wow, and Thassa's Oracle being played here, that's a bit surprising. Perhaps that means there's another one in hand? Especially given the Tabernacle, this is going to be an additional tax on the mana. Well, it does keep back the Dryad. That may actually be the factor. Now, Tabernacle tapping to pay for the Dryad thanks to the Dryad's ability. Unusual to see Tabernacle tapping for mana, but that does happen on occasion. Urborg and the Dryad, the prime suspects for that. Brainstorm, and now finding the Nomad. And it looks like that's actually going to do it. Just going to be able to move all in now. Dumping the entire deck into the graveyard. And, and that's going to do it. I guess Dread returning the other Thassa's Oracle. This is going to be Narcomoeba, so you could actually Cabal Therapy sacrificing that Thassa's Oracle and then bring it back. That's another possibility, but that is it. Cephalid Breakfast getting another W on camera. That is all for this one, but don't worry. There is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos, and we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Vault Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.